Hey, foxes, when they eat, they eat. They don't want to get messy. When you sit down to a meal of ribs that aren't cooked, you want a bib. Hope that answers your question. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? Welcome to a live stream at Nezu Shrine. This is one of my favorite shrines in Tokyo. I used to live in the area. So I don't know a whole lot about it, but I'll try to, to uh, show you guys around a little bit and give you a little bit of insight about one of the oldest shrines in Tokyo. It's a really beautiful place and there's lots to see and lots to talk about. So let's get started. And now that we got John Dobb out of the way, the party's gonna start. Let's go. Are we good? So again, this is a Nezu shrine. And Nezu is pretty much in the center of Tokyo. Um, and as I mentioned, it's one of the oldest shrines. It was first built in the early 1700s. And this is a Tori tunnel that goes along the path here. So we'll walk through it. And there's something really interesting halfway that we'll stop and talk about. Watch your heads. Another bib fox. So these tori are uh, connected on either side of the inari, which is the inner shrine. It's, it's considered the inner shrine, um, a shrine within a shrine. Now, I'm not sure what all of the, the writing is on these um, tori. I didn't do enough deep research, but maybe that's something you guys can do. Find out what all the writing is on the tori at Nezu Shrine. So, we'll be making our way over here. This is the main shrine, and it's gorgeous. Really beautiful place. The white squiggles, those are all just part of the decorations at Shinto shrines. Um, it's paper, it's washi, rice paper. You always want to have bibbed foxes guarding your shrine. So again, we're at Nezu Shrine in Tokyo. It's a Friday. It's a beautiful day in Tokyo. It's rainy season, but it's not raining today. In fact, it was totally clear this morning when I woke up, which, which was my inspiration for taking you all on a little adventure. And now it's clouded up a bit, but it's not raining. It's kind of humid and there's not a lot of people here. So I hope you're going to enjoy it. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. It's not countryside. We've got some, some more 
there's gonna be a, a jo some uh, jousting going on here. We got, <laughs> these people are doing the same thing. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So before we get to the, uh, the very cool thing I wanna show you, Again, this is the main shrine down here and we'll make our way over there. But, but, this right here is really, really interesting. That's right, Peter von God is amongst my peeps. Now wait till you hear about this. See these rocks here? So we've just come through the, the torii on either side here. And right here, this pile of rocks, can anybody guess what's in here? What do you think is under those rocks? All right, give up? I'll tell you. So, buried here is the afterbirth of Tokugawa Ienobu, who is the sixth samurai or shogun. He was the sixth shogun. So his placenta is buried in here. And these rocks mark that spot. And if you don't believe me, read this and weep. So why don't we just stand here for a moment and absorb the energy of the placenta of Tokugawa Ienobu. Are you feeling it? That's pretty cool, huh? You know, when people have a kid, you oftentimes keep the in Japan I don't know I don't remember if my mom kept my sisters and my uh, umbilical cord a little bit different from the placenta but um, we have my son's umbilical cord in a box a wooden box and you keep that as kind of a uh, a treasure yeah so if you want to bury your your uh, your afterbirth your placenta you're welcome to it Welcome to do it. All right, everybody doing good? Is John online here? Dude, focus on your honeymoon for crap's sake. All right, aren't these awesome? I can just walk through these all day. Maybe we will, maybe this entire stream is just going to be me walking back and forth under the torii. We'll go low. I'll crawl. And the next one, we'll go right along the rafters and ducking our head each time as we go through. How about that? You guys up for that? I don't know if my battery will last that long, but... I'm not going to run, dude. But isn't this cool? Tori are just so awesome. The color, I love this kind of, uh, I don't know how you describe it. It's not fire engine red, it's orange. We'll call it Tori orange. Don't steal that, that's my original idea. How's the weather in Bali, John? Sign that they've been built. Okay, thank you. Ramses, just mate. Wait, wait. Uh, going back here. Okay, the Tori gates of Nezu uh, written on them are a sign that they have been built from a donation. Okay, that's, that's what I thought, but I didn't want to say that. They're, uh, dang it. Yeah. Um, 
transition from the profane to sacred life. Okay, this act can be interpreted as a transition from the profane to sacred life. Thank you. So yeah, so these are people's names. What's this? Kikumi. Hmm, interesting. All right, we got a long ways to go here, kids. Wow, this one's, I bet you John donated this one. Got a discount. Jeez, homie. Maybe you should come here and put a coat of paint on it. Okay, so again, if you're just tuning in, we are at Nezu Shrine. Oh, look at this little princess making her way up the path. Hey, cutie. Nezu Shrine, we're walking through the Torii path, which just goes on and on and on. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Hannah. Hannah. Wow. That's a beautiful name. Can you give me a high touch? Touch. All right. <laughs> Arigato, Hannah. Kiyosukete ne, koko wa. Chutto. Ishi wa. Aruki ne kue ne. Very much, yo. You say bye bye? Bye bye. Tanoshin de ne. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Princess Hana. Okay, we made it through the gates. Now let's go back and go all the way through again. This is just for John. Just kidding. We're not going to do that. Because there's so much more to see. Nezu Shrine is huge. And my dream, my dream, is to have a house in one of the, the, the plots of land that surround the shrine here. Like this house up here has like the ultimate, look at this. Just a, it's a modest house, but it's got a million dollar location. And this tree is kind of in the way. I'd probably hack the tree down to get a clear shot of the Romon. The Romon here is the, the main um, moan, the main gate that you walk through. If you're coming from the south entrance, which is over here, this is the southern entrance over here. But really cool little koi ponds. There's two of them. And a stack of turtles over here. Look at these turtles all stacked up. Just chilling out like turtles do. Living the good life, the slow life. Look at this little guy doing a piggyback. Hey guys, say hello to our viewers. King Kiakiakoi, uh, is that a type of fish? Maybe, we'll take a look. Hey, look at that little guy, man. He's just chilling out, having a good time, all right. So, if you're here between April and May, all of these bushes are azaleas, and it is a sight to see. All of these, hundreds and hundreds of azalea, bu azalea bushes in many different hues. It's gorgeous. Sadly, we missed it, but we got other stuff to see. So this is the, the Romon. This is the main entranceway, as I mentioned. Very beautiful. So all of these structures here, all of these structures were built in the early 1700s and they remain intact. Supposedly, Nezu Shrine began around 1 AD and then relocated. But these structures that we're seeing here today are not that old. 
only 1700, 1705 or something like that. So. But I love these, these gates. I think I got that right, Romon. Can somebody verify that? R-O-M-O-N, Romon. Hello, everybody. These are always this is awesome. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah. Get closer, maybe. Yeah, it's too. The glass is too, too much of a uh, glare. You can kind of see better from here. So is everybody happy? I'm wearing, I'm not uh, wearing, I'm using a, uh, a gimbal today. So not so shaky. And that's a good thing because I'm shaking, knowing that one of the greatest YouTubers in the history of YouTubing is watching me live right now. And I can hardly contain myself. And when Peter von God is intimidated, it's a rare, a very rare occurrence. It does happen. But when John Dobb from Only in Japan is watching my stream and commenting as we speak, man, I'm doing something right. That's your honeymoon gift, John. Pumping up your ego. Okay, swing back around here. Playing ball in a sacred place. One of my favorite things about Japanese architecture is the, uh, or the zukuri, I think they call it zukuri, like design style, is the roofs. They're just awesome. And they just, they're so, so elegant and exotic. I think they're using some um, copper sheeting on the top. So it, uh, when it ages, it becomes this verdigris. Isn't that beautiful though? Just gorgeous. Okay. So let's make our way into the main shrine here. Again, we're at Nezu Shrine. And Nezu Shrine is in uh, the center part of, central part of Tokyo. Um, it's a beautiful shrine. A lot of people come here for weddings. And actually, um, people bring their babies. And so when my son Joji was born, we lived just kind of up the road here. Um, and uh, we brought Joji here and prayed. And um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a great great spot where people bring their babies to bless them, newborn babies. And also you see a lot of weddings going on here um, when uh, the brides uh, are dressed in um, traditional Japanese clothing, like John's wife did, really beautiful, um, the big, big hood. Um, yeah, so anyhow, let's make our way inside here. So this is, this is the main entrance. And this shrine is uh, modeled after uh, Toshogu Jinja, which is in Nikko, which is a really beautiful uh, place to go. So for a day trip, or you can do an overnighter there as well, but if you're coming to Tokyo and you've got extra time, 
Nikko is an absolute must. Um, it's, it's just amazing. That's where uh, uh, the Tokugawa shogun is uh, buried in, um, our, our, was it uh, Ieyasu? So up here, several minutes ago, we talked about um, Tokugawa Ienobu. His placenta is buried under the rocks up here. So watch back in this video later and you can see where his afterbirth is laid to rest. All right, we're walking through the gates here. And no, that is not a swastika for any of you smart butts. And I forgot to bring a coin. So I can't pray. I guess I could. I just don't want to. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, ne Nezu Shrine is a Shinto shrine. This is the main part. I would like to go up and pray, actually, but I don't have any coins. I totally forgot to bring coins. And it might be a little bit out of line if I just go up there and pray and not uh, make any offering. What do you guys think? But I've offered a lot of money here in the past. You think that counts? Let's watch and see if some other people don't pay. Or maybe I'll just rattle my keys and people will think I'd dump money in there. <laughs> Pay with MasterCard. <laughs> that, that would be hilarious. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> Can you imagine going up to the priest? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's gonna be if they pay if they take credit card. Oh god. That's like a Mr. Bean <laughs> Mr. Bean scene. So <laughs> anyhow. We're uh we're at Nezu Shrine, and this is the, uh, the Peter Van Gom channel. Showing you guys around Nezu Shrine. It's a very beautiful shrine in center of Tokyo. Um, and it was one of my haunts for a while until I was ele elevated to Peter Van God status. And now everywhere I go is my shrine. Thank you, WH Toronto. Very good question. So this shrine, Neza Shrine, was built in the early 1700s. And uh, the structures that we're looking at all remain um, intact. So they are the original uh, structures that were built in the early 1700s.
Isn't that beautiful detail? Again, this shrine was modeled after Toshogu Shrine, Toshogu Jinja, which is in Nikko. And again, that is a must visit place. Just gorgeous. I'm gonna go pray. Set this up. Right, let's make our way back. So let me give you a little bit of um, information. I wrote, I wrote a little bit of information about this place. Uh, bear with me, hang on a moment. So, according to legend, Nezu Shrine was founded in Sendagi, which is just north of the current location, in the first century by Yamato Takeru, also known as Prince Osu, the son of Emperor Keiko. The chief deity of the shrine was Suzano no Mikito, the god of the sea and storms. In 1705, the shrine was relocated to Nezu by Tokugawa Tsunayoshi, the fifth shogun of the Tokugawa dynasty. On the occasion of him choosing his successor, Tokugawa Ienobu. So, Ienobu is whose placenta is buried up here on the hill. Uh, let's see, in turn, Ienobu chose it as the guardian deity Now, actually, it says, nothing is left from the structures prior to the relocation. Okay, yeah, so, that's, so it, was, it was rebuilt in the early 1700s 
and these structures remain. Um, and let's see, it is still one of the oldest shrines in Tokyo. When Emperor Meiji moved his residence from Kyoto Imperial Palace to the Imperial Palace in Tokyo in 1868, he sent envoys to the shrine to have it intercede with the gods on his behalf. There you have it. Little mystery on Nezu. So we'll walk over here and check out the koi. So there is a koi pond. Yeah, over here. Take a look. Hey. We got a hundred likes, nice people. But how about we get a hundred more? Do it for Ie Nobu and his buried placenta. Not for me. No, I shouldn't joke about that. It's, it's revered, it's a revered site. And I might just take you back up there one more time because it's so revered. Here's the Koi Pond here in the middle. Yeah, okay, we got four more likes. So yeah, hit those likes, people. We need to grow this channel. It's growing, it's growing at a snail's pace. And it wouldn't be growing without kind people like yourselves hitting the like button, subscribing, Clicking on that bell so you get notifications for live streams like, right, like what we're doing right now. All right, Angus, you call it carp, that's fine. I'm not gonna hold that against you. Isn't this lovely? So tranquil. More turtles, more carp loading and look at this big guy. Oh, he's a lunker. Who disliked? Probably John's wife. She's pissed that he's watching this instead of enjoying their honeymoon. This turtle here just cracks me up. Look at this guy. He's so pensive. Just hanging out, just thinking about life. Where's this next meal gonna come from? So again, for those who are just joining, we are at Nezu Shrine. Nezu Shrine is one of the oldest shrines in Tokyo, built in the early 1700s, or at least was relocated. The, the, the structures we're looking at now are, are uh, from construction of, from the early 1700s. And um, beautiful place, lovely atmosphere, great energy great matsuri they have these awesome parties here in the uh in summertime so if you're here in the summer take keep an eye on uh maybe in july i didn't check the dates but i think july is uh the matsuri here big big uh party in the in the shrine it's good fun street food and 
okonomiyaki like John's uh, video did you see his new video on okonomiyaki I I prefer Hiroshima okonomiyaki over Osaka all that mayonnaise on top of the, the okonomiyaki in Osaka that's bad man the other the, the uh, Hiroshima is a lot better with uh, the uh, noodles Let's check out some of these Ema. So Ema are, well, this one's uh, some written in Spanish. Conquistas para divertida, Ana Silvia Gil. It's from 2017. Yeah, so they, the Ema, every year there's well, this is probably like, this, this is their standard Ema design for uh, Nezu Shrine. But they also have some that are um, uh, related to the, the year, the birth year. So for example, what's this one? Right now we're in the year of the dog, right? So I don't see any dog ones. But anyhow. Emma is where you write a you write a message, uh, a prayer, and at some point, this is cute. I hope. Let's read this. I hope that one day I will grow up and have an amazing, well-off job, and have a credible, handsome husband, and beautiful children. Isn't that sweet? How cute. Well, I hope you do too. Yeah, these are great. Oops. So, let's make our way back out. Last little view of these guys. Yeah, these are so cool. Let's see if I can get up near his face. So, a uh, real quick shout out to me. I have a new video all slated to release, which I'll be releasing uh, tomorrow morning. And to date, it's one of my favorites. It's inspired by the sandwich video that I did with John, um, his uh, Japanese sandwich video. Um, kind of inspired a new character. So, uh, I made a video um, with that same feel about food. I'm not going to tell you anymore, but uh, it's fun. I had a good time uh, making it, and it's a new format that I'm going to follow um, going forward, at least for part of the channel. Um, so please watch it, please like it, um, and uh, please continue to be cool people and, and enjoying my channel. I appreciate it. So there's lots more to come. I'm actually, uh, I'm going to create a different channel. Uh, actually, I already have. Um, I haven't released it yet, but uh, it's going to be more, well, the new channel is going to be Japan and food sites like today. Um, and then my original channel, which you're watching right now, is going to be more uh, dedicated just to stories. Um, because it's getting a bit muddled and people are asking what is, well, who are you what is this 
What is the channel? I, su I unsubscribed because you're reading kid stories. And then the next day I resubscribed because you took me on a cool tour. I'm like, dude, just chill out, okay? You aren't paying any money to watch this channel, it's free. I'm getting my, my creative feet on the ground still. We only started this channel like six months ago or something. I think uh, it was, well, one year ago, I did a live stream with John, um, which you should watch if you haven't seen it. It's the very first live stream I did, my first brush with YouTube um, at, uh, in, where were we? Akihabara, at the vending, the vending machine house of horrors. And that's when it all started. So that was one year ago. And then I made my first video in, I think, October. So maybe eight months ago, something like that. Um, and I'm gaining traction. So I'm still kind of working out the bugs and figuring out uh, my best path, but I'm really enjoying it. And I, I really appreciate your guys' support and your ideas. Um, so that, that gives, me, gives me fuel to, to uh, march forward and, and make new content, um, which I'm doing constantly, by the way. I mean, this, it's, it's become my new, my new hobby. So uh, um, my free time is dedicated to creating new content and um, editing and thank you. Thank you, Nosh, appreciate it. Um, yeah, good, you're interested in Japan, good. Well, I, for, I forget that sometimes because I've been here so long and I've seen all this stuff and it's, even though I'm still really excited about it, sometimes those of us who have been here for a long time, we start to kind of take it for granted. And although I'm, I'm excited every day that I'm in Tokyo, um, I need the little nudge to, you know, to remember that, yeah, not many people have been to Japan or ever will maybe, or are just in love with it once they come which is the truth, almost everybody who comes here just has an amazing time. It's just, it's, it's, it's one of the most amazing places on the planet, um, I, arguably, very arguably, um, in, in so many different ways. Um, you know, I was thinking this, today when I was coming over here, I came here by scooter, and there's some railroad tracks near my house. And the railroad crossing when it starts, it's noisy. Bang, 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 bang. But then, after about 10 seconds, it gets quiet. It goes bang, 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 bang. And I thought, you know, that is so Japanese. That is so Japan. It's harmony. It's harmony. And why can't we have that everywhere in the world? Not just that, but that's just a, that's a prime example of not disturbing the wa. You know, you, you get your message across, there's a signal, we know the train's coming, then quiet down and everybody's happy. There's no, there's no belly aching. But you go, you know, in America, you go to a, an Amtrak crossing and it's just this enormous clanging, clang, clang the whole time. And um, anyhow, that's just one example of what I love about Japan harmony so anyhow I think we're about to wrap this up I think I'll take you guys through the tori going the other way this time and we'll move fast and then I'll let you go so how about some more likes so we can get rocking in the algorithms oh and by the way I have a Patreon account now. So uh, for those of you who haven't visited that page, please check it out. There's a link on, uh, on my channel, upper right corner, looking at the page, uh, the YouTube channel. There's, uh, there's several social links, Facebook, Instagram, um, et cetera, and Patreon's there as well. So some fun stuff. Um, I think we have 12, 12 peeps that have, that have graciously signed up. And um, yeah, so we have, I have uh, original stories up to twice, once, twice a week. 
I'm uploading original stories that are only available to patrons. Um, these stories are just audio stories, they're not videos. Um, they're just they're audio stories. And um, also I have ringtones. People have asked since the beginning, make ringtones, make ringtones. So now I'm making ringtones. So one of the tiers, the higher priced tier, is a monthly original ringtone with my voice um, doing some fun, crazy stuff. So the next one's coming out uh, in the next several days. So that'll be the second ringtone. And uh, yeah, so, and then just if, you know, if you just want to, uh, to uh, donate to me, to the channel, I'm all smiles. I appreciate it. So yeah. Um, and thanks you guys, Ramsey's, Nosh, everybody who's, uh, who's helping and nudging people to click the likes and I appreciate that support, that help. All right, we're making our way through. The Tori. There we are. I really gotta duck my head because I'll swing it around. Wouldn't it be awesome to be just a tiny little kid and just running through here really fast? Ooh, it's cool. Good thing we have that gimbal. I break for placenta. So inside here, again, if you're just joining, Ienobu, Tokugawa Ienobu, who is the sixth shogun of Japan, his afterbirth is buried right here, his placenta. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. So this is a, a revered spot. Um, he was the, su the successor of, uh, another Tokugawa, I forget his name, but who was the, uh, the founder of, of Neza Shrine. And then he succeeded, uh, in the early 1700s and evidently they kept his afterbirth as they do. And who's going to argue with a shogun, right? And they brought it here and it's buried here. So it's a revered spot. And there's another rock. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is it, but, I, but there's another rock here somewhere that marks the spot where some real, some very noted uh, poets found inspiration. Uh, Soseki, Nats, Natsume Soseki, is that right? I think is one of them. Um, and uh, yeah. So, Nezu Shrine. Nezu Shrine, you gotta come here. Beautiful spot, middle of Tokyo. Not as many people as you'll find at uh, uh, Yasukuni, uh, not Yasukuni, Yasukuni Shrine. Yasukuni Shrine is the the war memorial. That's a cool place too. You should go there. Um, but uh, in Yoyogi Park is the uh, Meiji Meiji Jingu Shrine. Is that an icon on the down right corner? Are you storybook? Are you going to get a icon for this? Good question, Marco. Thank you for asking. Absolutely. Yeah, I need to. Uh, the new channel will have obviously a different uh, header and a different, some different uh, icon that's more indicative of what I'll be doing with it. Um, which again, the new channel will be strictly Japan, Tokyo related food and sites and um, edited videos, live streams like, like we're doing now. Um, and yeah, it'll be good. Of course, I'll be still continuing to do my stories. Um, we love doing. And the new video will be coming out tomorrow. So I hope you like it. Um, and uh, yeah, your comments are always appreciated. It's all good fun. I kind of beat myself up sometimes trying to get things absolutely perfect and 
it's hard work, man. Editing videos and brainstorming and making sure you, you create something that other people are going to enjoy and that your effort balances out with the reward of people liking it. And that's a, it's a difficult thing to do with YouTube, I'm finding. It's looking for that sweet spot. And sometimes I just wonder, and I'm not, I'm not being a, an egotistical butthead, but I'm just wondering if I'm being too creative to be successful for YouTube. Because a lot of, a lot of the YouTube stuff I see have zero editing and it's just a person showing a giant lobster being cut open and there's no dialogue. There's absolutely nothing that's put into it. There's no heart in it at all, but it's got millions and millions of subscribers and millions and millions of views. Am I too smart for this? Am I too creative? I ask myself that, but I, I, I just can't do something half-assed. I can't, I've always been that way. And it's, stressful at times because I, I, I try to make things absolutely perfect and drives me nuts. So, welcome to my life. Peter Von God's cry for help. Not really. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go back to your dinner table or wherever you are. Maybe you're getting ready for bed. Maybe you're just waking up. Wherever you are, Whatever you're doing, enjoy it. Tell someone you love them. It makes you feel good. It's good for the planet. There you have it. All right. This has been a live stream on the Peter Von Gom channel from Nezu Shrine in Tokyo. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks all for tuning in. Click those likes and we'll be talking to you soon. And make sure you watch that video tomorrow morning. Well, it'll be my, my morning when it comes out. Your evening, perhaps, or, yeah. So, all right, guys. Have a good one. Be talking to you soon. Bye-bye. Take care. Maybe we won't stop. If I can learn how to turn this off. Oh, here we go. <laughs> There's the X marks the spot. All right, bye-bye.